Welcome, die-cast collectors and heavy equipment enthusiasts. Thank you once again for joining me for an all-new edition of Diecast Emporium. In today's review, I'm going to be showcasing the Classic Construction Models, or CCM, Caterpillar 416 F2 Backhoe Loader. It is part of CCM's Contractor Collection, and this model is in 124 scale. If you're not familiar with CCM's Contractor Collection, to date, there are four models in this series, and the main idea was to showcase some of Cat's entry-level models that a contractor might buy. And with this larger scale, it allows some of the finer and smaller details to be shown through in a much larger scale. So some information behind the real Cat 416. It was introduced in 1985 and has earned the distinction of being in the Cat product line for longer than any other backhoe that they currently make. This version, the 416F2, gives users higher performance with increased fuel efficiency, a superior hydraulic system, and an all-new spacious operator station with improved visibility. This 24,000-pound machine comes with an 87-horsepower C4.4 Assert engine, which does meet the U.S. EPA Tier 4 final emission standards. The power shuttle transmission provides four speeds in forward and reverse with a top speed of 23 miles an hour in either direction when equipped with the optional E-Stick extendable boom. The 416F2 has a maximum reach of 25 feet 6 inches and a flat bottom digging depth of 17 feet 10 inches. The front loader is capable of lifting more than 6,000 pounds with its 1.31 cubic yard multi-purpose bucket. Turning our attention now towards the model, as I said before, this model is 124 scale, made predominantly of die-cast metal. It was released in 2017, and only 500 models were released. The MSRP of this model is $419.95, and, this is crucial, unlike most classic construction models, as of the time that I am filming this review, in early 2022, you can still purchase this model from CCM Direct. I will include a URL link down here in the video's description. So, after you finish watching this review, if you feel that you have to have one of these in your collection, all you have to do is simply click on that link and it will take you straight to CCM's website where you can purchase this. So, let's take a look at the model now. We, As always, we start with the detail and decal application. And, not to disappoint, it is typical CCM high first class quality. You can see CAT 416F2. There's even labels on the safety latch for the loading mechanism. Different filler cap lids are highlighted in different colors. Turning the machine around to the front. This 416 is equipped with the optional 4-in-1 bucket. On the right side of the machine, you can see the exhaust, hydraulic lines. The tank here has the non-slip tread pattern on it. Inside the cab, which we will take a closer look at when I show you the functionality aspect of the review because the doors open, very highly detailed instrument panel, uh, different gear levers, the steering wheel and such, etc., etc. There is a small antenna on top of the cab on the right side. Moving along to the rear of the machine, you can see other flexible hydraulic lines on the backhoe. At the rear, once again, we see some more lights, some more warning decals and tie-down point decals that are small and to scale and are of a very high quality. Coming back along to the left side where we started, we can see that the tires are wrapped in rubber and the wheels have a very good pattern and detail inside them and as far as i can tell i do believe these wheels are metal inside the hubs okay let's transition now to functionality i am very happy to report that this model is extremely functional in all aspects that you would want to see in a backhoe loader model so let's begin with the rolling test this is a rubber tired machine so it will roll in either direction very freely, as you can see. It does feature steering with an excellent range of motion in either direction. And the front axle does have a bit of oscillation that you'd want to see in a backhoe loader if it needs to go over some rough terrain. Okay, let's check out the loader functionality part of the backhoe loader. You do want to use a little bit of care here, but 
you can get the loader up to a excellent lift height. In fact, so good it wants to nearly go out of frame. This also demonstrates our curl back angle, which again is excellent. So let's take a look at our dumping angle. Again, this is a four in one bucket. So of course you could dump by just opening up the clamshell portion of the clamshell bucket. But for those that wanna see a bucket dump in the traditional style, there you go. That should allow you to get all your material out without any issue. So how are the lower end of things? Let's go back and check out our carry angle. Here's your carry angle as far back as mine will go in the low position, which perhaps is not the best, but it's good enough. How about a cut angle? And we can see that you can achieve a cut angle that is slightly below grade and plenty good enough to get the machine off the ground with the front axle. All right, before we're done with the bucket, let's check out the opening of the four in one bucket. And you can see that you can open it up very nicely. So if you did want to pose the machine doing some back grading, you can achieve that without an issue. So that is the front loader functionality. Let's check out the backhoe functionality. Let's bring our machine to site, back him up. Now the first thing that we need to do obviously is to stabilize our machine. So let's bring our outriggers down. These outriggers are very secure, very strong, helped by these metal cylinders that you see here. This is as far down as they will go. And if you can see this, it is enough to get the back wheel off the ground, just enough so that it spins wheels free. With our machine secured, we can now unfold the backhoe and begin working. Now you can get this thing out to a pretty decent angle. Again, I cannot emphasize this enough. And this goes for any CCM model or any high end model that you have in your collection. Just take your time and use some care when you are doing these poses. You wanna be a little bit gentle. You wanna take your time, but you can get your stick out to there and get your boom down to here, which is excellent. That is an excellent digging angle. So if you had this in a diorama, for example, you would have no problem posing this machine, digging a trench or digging anything that you wanted it to dig. Okay, well, how about the other end of things? You already saw that the bucket curls in to an excellent angle and will come back and retract fully for a transport position. How about out the other way, if you wanted to load a 124 or a 125th scale dump truck, again, no problem there. It will get over the side of any of your 125th scale American high-sided trucks. So this model scores 10 out of 10 in functionality with no complaints that I can feasibly see. We will now retract our outriggers we're not quite done with functionality just yet because we have a couple of additional features. We can open our engine. Now the engine hatch only opens to here, but when you have yours in person, you can see a little bit of engine detail inside. Again, it might be a little bit hard to pick up on camera, but the engine is replicated quite nicely. We can close that now. And as you can see, I don't even really need the pointer tool, but one is provided with the model. You can open up both sides of the door for the cap, either the left side or the right side. So I'll demonstrate that now. And the door opens to an angle of there. But here's another nice surprise. Check this out. You can also open the rear facing door on both sides as well. Now, as far as if my seat will rotate to the back, I have not been able to get mine to move and I certainly don't want to force anything. So that remains to be seen if you want to get yours and see if you can rotate your seat to the back to accurately depict a position of the operator facing towards the rear while he is using the backhoe. But I just wanted to show you that all four doors do open on this machine. Before we close the video, let me go ahead and show you the documentation that is provided with this model. Here is the sales brochure 
That also serves as the serial number. As you can see, mine is serial number 357 out of 500. Here is Gary's signature. And inside, these are great because it is an accurately reproducted brochure that shows you all the different um, options that you can get with the real machine. Some great pictures. These are always great to keep with your model. And again, this does act as your serial number uh, certificate of authenticity as well. So that will conclude my review on the Classic Construction Models Caterpillar 416F2 backhoe loader in 124 scale, part of CCM's contractor collection. Gotta say, guys, this is not a cheap model, but if you are into larger scales of construction equipment, this model is excellent. The functionality is excellent. The detailing on this thing is excellent. And if you want a larger scale model of a Caterpillar backhoe, this thing is perfect. Finally, as I said before, you can still get this model direct from CCM. Check out the link in the video's description, and that link will take you directly to their website where you can purchase this model today. As always, I'm Tommy with Diecast Emporium. Thank you all so very much for watching. Until next time, take care, be well. I'll see you in the next review.